Good morning and welcome to your Realtor Property Resource class. My name is Connie Nieto. I'm one of your Miami trainers. Class today is RPR Residential. RPR Residential. One of the things I'd like to show you today is how you can get more information on RPR from Miami Realtors. And you can come into Miami Realtors page and search RPR, right? And you'll see RPR Mobile, Commercial, and RPR Realtor Resource. If you click in through here, you'll see that there's a dedicated RPR page. There is a video. What's in it for you, including comprehensive property data, powerful analytics, and much more. There is the contact info, how to get in for you, how to get your NRDS number if it's your first time uh, logging in, some helpful articles and help desk information, et cetera. Of course, from our homepage to log into RPR through the single sign-in icon, you simply come to the Miami Gateway, click in, put your license and password, and that will bring you to your Miami Gateway. The icon for RPR is this one right here. If you click through here, it will take you directly to RPR. If it's your first time logging in and you've never logged in before, is that the case for anyone um, in our group today. I'm going to go ahead and simulate and I will sign out to show you how you can log in for the first time. For first time login, you can come into here and choose to create an account. It will ask you for your last name and the email address associated with your membership. You would put that in, click next, follow the instructions, you will receive an email and you can create your login. Once you create your username and login, come back to this initial page, enter your email and your password, and sign in. I do want to let you know that our class today is sponsored by Butler Title, and I'm going to take a minute and give some room to Stephanie to let you know how she can be a part of your team. Good morning, Stephanie. Thank you for making it out. Uh, take it away. It's all yours. You're on mute. I can't hear you. How about now? That so good. Yes. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Uh, and thank you, Connie. I appreciate you allowing me a, a moment to speak, uh, and I won't take up too much time. Um, again, my name is Stephanie Rose now. I work with Butler Title as a business development associate. Um, we do everything a title insurance company normally does. We administer closings, hold escrow, uh, sell title insurance, of course. But we offer something pretty unique, and that's what's called the Butler rebate. Um, and that will always help save your clients 10% off the title insurance policy at closing. So they'll get that back in the form of a credit. Uh, we also only charge a, a $5.95 settlement fee, very low compared to most. Uh, and when you combine the two, it makes us one of the most affordable ways to close. So again, something a little unique that we offer. Um, it's for all of your clients, every transaction, every year, you never have to ask for it. Um, and it's a simple thank you for doing business with Butler Title. So with that said, with our competitive fees, um, the service does not suffer. We're, we're very um, adamant on providing the best service we can. We just exceeded 105 star Google reviews. We're very proud of that. And we understand how important it is to have really uh, and, you know, thorough and, and good communication and good customer service with both you, the agent, and your clients. So um, again, thank you for allowing me to speak today. If you have any questions at all, I'll put my contact information in the chat. Always feel free to reach out. I can provide you with a quote and your client so we'll see how much we'll save with our rebate. And uh, we are attorney owned and operated. So even if you have any questions for our attorney, we'd be happy to help you or your client. So thank you again. Enjoy the class today. And I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I've sent your website out. I appreciate it. Um, and hopefully you can send them your info as well. You take care. Have a great day. All righty. So right back to this welcome area where we were. Um, thanks, Stephanie, once again. I want to let you know that once you sign in here, and the reason I tell you to is if you have the gateway open, and you come and you do your sign in, it will then re remember you and automatically sign you in from the gateway. Now, like any uh, system, you want to go ahead and make it yours. 
So in RPR, we're going to be going over the homepage and the different items that you have here, right? But on the very top, I want to talk about your profile. Good morning, Sylvia. I see that you're there. On the top here, on the top portion, you see where I have my photo? I do want you to click down if you're in there, and we're going to discuss your profile settings. You click into the profile. And once you're in the profile, you can come and change your photo, add your logo, and put in your contact details. Any questions so far? Everyone good so far? All righty. Excellent. Just making sure. Once you put in your photo and logo, these will also be a part of the reports that you send out. So to me, it's vital for branding purposes that you come in and you put in your information. Contact info. Your name will appear. You can take a minute and add your title if you'd like, right? Your office information, brokerage address. Scroll down. Now, if there's a discrepancy here, let the office know. Uh, so they can let the association know. They can send an email uh, to brokers at miamire.com or membership at miamire.com. How you add your phone number, you click and you come and select and you just type it in. Alrighty, the next item is the email. So if you have an additional email, click add, and you would be able to select other one or two or assistant and add it in. Now, I want you to understand that adding this information is very, very important because when you go to prepare a report or send a property report or create a flyer or prepare a CMA, this information will show up on the pages, right, and info that you send out. So when we start talking about website and direct links, if you currently don't have a website or in the process of creating one, that's fine. But remember that this would be one of the places that you can come in and add it in. Now, I'm going to ask a couple of questions of you, if you would be so kind to answer via the chat. How many of you are seasoned realtors? Two plus years. Carries two plus year. Excellent. Anyone else? How about just getting started? So here's a tip for you. Oh, Alfredo. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Maybe it'll get you prompted and started, huh? So, all righty, Olga, good. So what I want you guys to know is that these kind of things, right, what you do here, this is something that you should consider updating once a year or every six months in all of your sites. Now, how many of you are still pen and paper people? For some things, I'm still pen and paper. There's that satisfaction of the scratching off right? And then some of you may be uh, digital and electronic. So I've sort of transitioned. I've started to keep a notepad on my phone where I do my to-do list or my shopping list. Well, you, I suggest to you, how many of you have a cell phone and you pay a pretty penny for them? Well, you could start a note area in there and you could put real estate or realtor and put RPR. So you're going to create this profile so you put here profiles or updates uh, required once a year and make a list of the places that you visit. You do it in Matrix, you do it here in Dot Looper Form Simplicity, depending on what you use, et cetera. So how exciting is that, that you would have a place that uh, to remember? So the next thing I want to show you is that you can add a website. I don't know if all of you know, but you have a free uh, web page from Matrix. 
and I'm going to come in and see if I can share it with you. This is mine. I'm going to select and copy the URL. And what I do is I'll come right back into my profile in RPR. And I can paste it in. One moment. All righty, we'll continue here. The next thing I want to show you is how many of you are on social media <coughs> or like social media or are interested in social media. Well, the dynamic thing about RPR reports and what you could share from here is that they are in PDF format. So these websites and links that you would be adding would then be clickable if you share them. So I'm going to open up another tab and maybe show you Instagram. Right. So here is my Instagram business page. Okay. I hope you guys get to take a minute and see the best time to sell South Florida. I just posted this, but in my stories, it has a little click through where uh, you could get the idea even for your zip code. So real cool. And you can actually share this as well. So this is my Instagram. Now, you might be saying, do I really want to add this to my report? Yes, I want to make it so that my customers can always click and get info. So I copy up here, come to my profile, right? I'm going to remove it so you see it. And right click, oops, pasted it. All righty. I can do the same for LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, any other websites that I may have or uh Maybe you have a landing page at your brokerage and you want to add it and you could, okay? Notice that you can select from agent, broker, office, or other. The next item here is MLS or CIE, right? And of course, if you've logged in, it's through Miami Realtors. And if you have access to any other data, right? Remember that RPR is actually a subsidiary of a National Association of Realtors of NAR. So you could in fact have access to other areas and it would show. You could put the states and the license numbers that you have for different states. And you can add up to three users as assistants. So your assistants, if you have an assistant, you can add it. You come in and you have new subscription. So if you wanna receive the newsletter and updates from RPR, and if you've read and agree with the terms of use and privacy policy, and you can click save. Once you do that, you've saved your profile items. Always important to go ahead. Now I'm gonna skip going back to the homepage because I wanna show you something else that's magnificent about RPR. And we can come to the settings on the top blue bar and discuss them. You can come and choose your listing settings, whether you want your listing settings to show as new 14 or up to 30 days, you're recently closed, up to 180 days or as low as seven, right? So you can choose here how you would like them, your commercial settings as well, and you can reset to default if you've ever liked. And you can click save. And then there's this wonderful area here of my markets. What's this you say? The My Market area will show when you go back to the home page, and you will be able to see what's happening in the market area that you put in. So I'm going to come and remove a couple, and I'm going to ask you to share. Share the zip code or a zip code that interests you.
All righty. So 33160, 33160, right? And I see it as North Miami Beach and I come and select it. Isaac, excellent. 33324. Add it in. Anyone else? Three three one eight zero. All righty. Thank you, Olga, Alfredo, Isaac. And I'm going to come and add another one. Uh, let's see if I type in Weston, what happens? And I can select it. So you can enter a neighborhood, a city, a state, a city, state, or a zip code. So now that I've put my markets in, I want to save again. And now I do want to go to my homepage. Now setting these up are vital so that when I come into RPR, right, I have my residential area, a place to put location, a type of status, type of property, et cetera, for a search field. I have shortcuts um, and I scroll down. And here I have one of my areas, 33186 has 15 properties for sale currently, 16 for lease in MLS, eight price changes, 21 pendings, 13 closed for sale, seven closed for lease, and one distressed. If I scroll down and I have here the 33160, there are 86 for sale, 112 for lease, 76 price change. 68 pending, closed for sale. And let's look, take a peek here at the Fort Lauderdale one, right? Look at the area here. Is this Davy? 33324. 21 for sale, 20 for lease, 16 price change, 24 pending, right? Closed for sale, et cetera. And then trying to give you guys the ones you gave me, right? That's six, zero. Yes, Davy Plantation, good. And then 33180, which is the area over here. Oh, it's close to Aventura. There you go. 51 for sale, 46 for lease, 51 price change, 24. So why is this convenient? Well, what if I'm getting ready to go out and going to do my daily walk or going to go to the store or uh, getting ready to meet friends in the area? If I come into here and I see my presets, I'm ready to go discuss what's happening in my area, yes or no. Did you know that there are 51 properties for sale in this area of Aventura? 46 for lease. There's been some price changes. 14 have recently closed and 17 recently um, leased out. And then you go, oh yeah, you know, I'm really interested in, in seeing what's happening in the building I'm in. And then you could start talking and say, well, give me your details and I'll go ahead and send you some information. So it's just a talking point. You'll be ready to go and know what's happening in your vicinity and area. The next thing I want to show you about the homepage is if you come to the top, there is a research area where you can do a property search, a map search, a neighborhood search, a school search, residential market activity search, commercial site selection, commercial map, and how to research. I want you to know that we offer an additional RPR commercial class, and it should be soon uh, coming, maybe late April, early May uh, for you. Marketing, there is prospecting for residential clients, prospecting for commercial clients, a property flyer, and create a commercial property report, and some RPR marketing tips that you can watch through. The reports, the report area indicates all the types of reports that you can create, whether residential or commercial, and reports are kept in RPR for 30 days. On day 31, no longer there. The learn area is a whole area for you to learn and have additional information. There is a help area, an 800 number with 24 hour, seven days a week service, a live chat area for you to click and live chat through, and a training area and an email support at narrpr.com. You also have your my work area, which is for recent info. So my markets, my listings, my saved properties, my recent properties, my reports, my notes, my saved searches, my recent searches, and an intro to explain. 
The work that you've done is also kept for the last 30 days. And then of course, the profile and branding area that we went through. You can always come to the very top and we're doing residential today, but to switch to commercial is just a small switch. You can come in and type an address. You can select the search, select the type of property, pricing, and additional items to search by. But I want to show you a little trick. How many of you have ever been in Matrix? You're in a listing, right? And you see this icon here, the RPR property report. Have you ever clicked through here? So if you find a listing in the MLS, you can actually come and click through and it will bring you in. Maybe you're creating a CMA for someone who already found a property and they want to see what pricing point they should be offering. You can always click through. And I brought you here to this address because I wanted to show you a couple of things. It will tell you if it's currently in the MLS, if it closed, when it closed, the MLS number, right? Closed price if it closed or current price, the bed, bath, the square footage, the RVM valuation, which in this is instance, right, explains if you hover over that I for info, estimated evaluated generated by automated valuation model that uses on market and on market MLS listing data. Now, is this a CMA? Not necessarily. Confidence level is four stars, and it explains to you here the confidence score, the pricing range, right? You can view more details if you like, basic facts on the property, but we have what? The pictures from the MLS. You can enlarge them. Okay. You can come and see market trends for the property, refine valuation and more. I'm gonna come right back to property info here in a second. You can see a street view if we're available, but this is inside of a community, so there's no street view. You can click and see the satellite view of the property. And you can look at historical. So there are 75 photos and you can jump and see the different times it's been in the MLS. So this is from 315, 2009. That's the current one. And one in 2012. Isn't that incredible? Now scrolling down, you have basic facts in the area, closed and RVM valuation. You have the ability to create a net seller sheet. You have a description, right? Someone wrote here, some notes. You have map and an interactive map that you can click to, right? That shows you the property in question and properties around, right? You could actually change the view type to satellite, aerial, road, terrain. You can select for point of interest, right? So let's see parks. Apply. And let me scroll out and see if we can find any parks. Let me go ahead and switch the view back to road, right? Oh, I don't see any parks. I thought we would. All right, let's do a couple more. Let's do, let's see, um, daycare, a bank, post office, a restaurant, and apply. We'll see there's a restaurant here, right? There's a park here, park, banks, et cetera. So you could see places of interest, okay? You could get some data layers. So estimated home values, and it'll take you to the hot sheets, right? To the heat maps with info, okay? 
right? Now we're gonna come right back in. That was your interactive map. You have the valuate, which we're um, going to be giving a uh, working with investor class that goes in through the investment analysis that's available to you through here and evaluate if you're interested. You have public and listing facts, the listing agent that had sold it, right? Notes that you can add, interior features, public features, exterior features, legal description, right? Zoning, schools in the area. So if someone asked you, oh, do you know what school is in this area? You can see niche information and information here associated to the school. So let's say that they wanted the high school info. You can come and select and see the high school information. I'm gonna click the back button, right? And that was just all on that primary property information page. Next, you could come to Market Trends and see what's happening in this area. See that it is at a seller's market. You can see information and note that this is single family, condo, townhouses, and apartments, right? So if you wanted to switch it just to single family homes like this one, you could click select single family and ask the chart to display the changes to all the charts you're looking at. This now tells you that the median sold price in this area is 870,000. They last 63 days on market, which is up month over month. The sold price is 96% of the price uh, posted, right, or listed. The key details is 1.92 months of inventory, which makes it a seller's market. We scroll down and we have active listing information. And if you click here, it explains that graphic summarizes key statistics for properties that were in active status on the last day of the month. So median list price currently, number of properties available, which is down, 82 days on the market, which is up month over month, median price per square foot, total dollar volume, and medium living area square footage. Sold information at the uh, end of February, 870,000 is the median sold price, 12 properties sold, selling at 96% original to sale price, 63 days on market, $366 as the price per square foot. And then public record information. The inventory for Weston, single family homes available, condo townhouses, villas, distressed property, inventory of distressed, estimated property valuation, right? sold comp statistics, prices per square foot sold, the age range of the comps sold, price per bedroom. Now this is interesting because people always ask if I added a bedroom, what price would it be? This might be where info is gathered and obtained. Next, we can come to the top and talk about refined value. And here you can look to update and make changes. You can see home improvement category. So if I click, let's say that I was doing a major kitchen remodel mid-range, then I did it this year in January and I spent uh, 25,000. Now I update and it gives me 13,000 of value. I can reset it, add another improvement and the improvements include from bathroom, deck, entryway, garage, major kitchen, master suite, roofing, window replacement and other. I'll take that out. You also have a need improvement area not necessarily for us, but we do have appraisers that use our PR. That's part of the reason those are there. We have local market conditions. Something that you can see is, let's say your property is extra special or gorgeous outside in this area, slightly or more can add a value of up to $21,000. So that curbside appeal has some value, yes or no? 
scrolling down, that's the end of our refined value. We have CMA. And though I'm not going to go in depth into the CMA here, we do have a CMA workshop class where we go step by step on how to. Um, we do a comparative analysis here, which is based on comps, right? And you can see the information for the property. It is four beds, three baths, built in 1998, right? Uh, the square footage. You can confirm the facts from the home. Make sure everything is okay and correct. Confirm it. And then the system will prompt you to do the steps. Find your comps in the area. And you might want to, let's say, just do closed. Uh, maybe we want to do in the last six months, right? And this one has four bedrooms. So let's see if I do four. And we'll leave two in the, in the baths just to see. This is the property itself. I um, mean, we may want to do a lot size, right? We can do and draw a shape. Maybe we want to do a radius and do half a mile out. Search in this area. There is one property, right? So, hmm. Let's see if we can do a geography which is in, that would be the whole neighborhood. That's way too much. Let's see, a minor neighborhood, nope. Intermediate, there you go. Let's search Weston Hill and we can search in that area. And there you go, we have several. So I wanted you to see that there's different ways. You could even do a custom map, you could draw, right? And then in this instance, I was able to select intermediate neighborhood. You would then see, you would come select your comps, right? Now I'm just showing you the process, right? Update your valuation. You can edit the range if you'd like. Okay. And a recommended um, range, save it or use a recommended one that they've given you. You would click to create a report. And now you can click through the seller's report and select the items that you'd like. Now, if you have everything selected, RPR will create a huge extensive report. So in our CMA class, we go through the pages. But if you want to take a little sneak peek and add and see what I have, and here, I do want to take a minute and ask you, how many of you have marketing collateral that you would be able to add or want to add to your presentation? So maybe your office has a report on how many sales last year, or you have a productivity report you would like to share, or what it is that you would offer. Once you're here, remember that it'll have your profile info from your profile page. But you can also come and manage custom pages here. And by clicking in here, you're able to have five custom pages. You can remove one if you like, right? You can come in and add them by clicking add, finding the page that you would like to add. Let me see if I have any here in downloads that I can share. I'll just add this one so you guys can see it. Yeah, we'll do this one so you guys can see. Maybe there was a photo flyer that you had and you save it. What is this? You can then add. So I have here a Broward top ranking market. I don't know if you're aware, but as Miami members, you have access to co-branded forms that you could use. Uh, do you know how to find those? Would you like to see? All right, I'll just show you anyway. MiamiRealtors.com and you can come on the search bar and obtain co-brand. These are now available. Oops, I'm sorry about that. 
let's do co-brand there we go of course co-brand here they are and some of the ones that you may be interested in is rental and lease uh, leases top 20 reasons and top ranking cities i've downloaded these and i have them already available so just so you would peek the class was supposed to be in broward best boating top 10 hot market top multifamily market etc so you can actually download this right and then what i'll do is show you i'll come here in rpr and i'll show you how to add it in so let me go ahead and remove these two and come back in and we'll save that one add it here it is and you can make it a part of your presentation okay save and then you can come in and choose it so you can add additional collateral up to five pages and then you have elements of the report here now since this would be for the property owner I wouldn't have to add home facts, et cetera. So I'm going to run the report. We'll give it a couple minutes while it generates. And then I'll come back and show you. Um, if you'd like, you can take a picture from here. I'll keep it up a couple of seconds and then I'll scroll it down and show you the other one so you can see what it is that I use in the report. We'll wait one more second. Ready to scroll? You wanna take a picture, that's the next one. While you're doing that, I want you to know that RPR is NAR's technology company. It's a wholly owned subsidiary of um, NAR. It has national parcel centric database for residential and commercial properties. It was built exclusively for realtors. It does not come as an additional charge. You pay for it when you pay your dues and it is meant for you to use. Some of the interesting things that we've covered while we were navigating this property is property history. And we are going to be looking at some neighborhood insight, school data, market trends, which we did see for this one and more that could be valuable for your customer and for you. Alrighty, and the last little segment here for you to see, if you're taking a picture. And then I'll show you one more thing um, that you could do with reports in RPR. So we've added custom pages. We've done a CMA process for you to see. And then the next thing is that you can come into here and you can actually enter someone's name and a message and personalize it. I chose to display now and run report, but you can choose to email and it would come from you and you can CC yourself, right? And there is a reminder here that reports last for 30 days. So once you hear that bell, which is very much RPR, you would have the seller report available here and you can delete it, rerun it and view report activity. You can click on it and see it. And here is the report created, the property, photo and logo, contact details that are clickable, my collateral that we added, and then the analysis. And this is 18 pages ready for you to present. Now, what else can RPR do? Let's come back in and let's click on that home page. Coming from the home page, I can actually come in and research an address. We are currently in RPR. So just to let you know, this is the icon we're in. I'm right back in and here. If, does anybody have an address that they would like to share so we could go into it? Or would you like me to share and look?
All righty, I'll show you that. We can come in and we can start typing in a draft. And I want you to see that you start to put in and it'll start suggesting to you. You click in and you will get property information. Notice how mine has info here. Right? You can save a property, give it a name. Okay. And save it. Right? So you could then come and access it to your work under My Save Properties. Right? So if I wanted to start again or lost connection, if I had saved it, I click on home. Saved properties. Here it is. So from the home page, you would be able to find it and also from my work. You have the property here. Estimated facts, historical, right? It's off market. The last sold date was in 2014, right? You can see a street and satellite view. But what if I wanted to know about market trends in this area? I could click to market trends. I could prepare. So let's say I'm going this weekend out and I'm going to go see a friend who doesn't live in my area, right? Close to me. And I want to get some details. I could come in, put the address, and find out what's going on with properties in that area. The other thing I could do is come and get that neighborhood insight. The neighborhood summary report is something that you can actually create and share, right? And it gives you market information, key details on months of inventory, median days on market in an area estimated valuation of property, right? And the AARP livability index for an area. If you want additional understanding and info on the housing, neighborhood, transportation, environment, health, engagement, and opportunity, you could simply click to view on AARP, leave, and it will take you, right? You can search, see the info, the population, and dive deeper into that area. See the categories and metrics and more. Neat, right? Now coming back into here, right? You have the five top occupations in the area. So health and social assistance, retail trade, professional, scientific and technical education, nearby neighborhoods. When we scroll up, since you came into the neighborhood info, we have housing, right? We would scroll up here and you would see the zip code, estimated home value, median price, median age of the home, percent to own ratio, compared to the city, county, Florida, and the U.S. You have new listings and the median list price. Active listings and the median list price. Pending. Pending listings. Sold. And the month supply of inventory. Public record sold. Home statistics, so price range of comps sold. And you can click the back to the top button. So this was neighborhood information from a property address. You could also come and click people and you'll see the population, the density, the change since 2010. Now this is census info, right? Median age, very young. The male to female ratio, education levels of the population. Population of children by age group. Population of adults by age group, households with children, income brackets, and occupational categories, as well as voting pattern. 
economy. Income per capita, household median income, unemployment rate, and then quality of life, including snowfall, days of full sun, and again, the AARP livability index. And this I find incredible. Average commute times, how people get to work, and monthly temperature average. Now what's neat about this, you can come to the top and create a report. So if someone asks you for information in, for an area, you could create a neighborhood report, personalize it. Run the report. Oh, I forgot to click include. And you would have a report generated. Any questions so far? A little peek at the report. Again, that homepage with the area, right? So this is 33186, photo, logo, contact details, my custom pages, and then the statistics and information on that area, just as I shared with you. This is a great report when they ask you about a vicinity or area. Now I'm gonna come back in, right? And we're going to go back, right? We'll do that neighborhood search. You can do it from up here. I'm gonna to come to home and show you another way that you can look. What happens if you were interested, let's say in an area, let's do here. What's oh, taking a minute? We'll do public records. We'll see if it'll give it to us now. Here we go. Select it. So you have info on here, right? And I want to see what schools are available. I can go to that property, scroll down, get legal descriptions, and I can see the schools in the area, right? But what if I wanted to do these things directly? Back to the top, we could do research. So you can come and do a neighborhood or school search or get residential market activity from here. So we can come in, do neighborhood research, right? And you can type in a zip code. So let me go ahead and use Isaac's 33324, right? You had mentioned that that was a little bit of Davy Plantation. Right, um, exact type. We can do, let's see what the system will give us. Click here on the loop and you have your info for the market trends for 33324. Key details, 1.66 months of inventory. Selling at 98% of listed price lasting 14 days. So Isaac, is that area hot or not? Median sold price. Now, what if I wanted this for single family? I can click it and apply to all my charts and they would pertain to single family. What if I wanted to print it? I could click print and print it off. Or I could create a report so it'll have my details on the neighborhood, right? Or market activity. I'm going to go ahead and just use my Broward top ranking. And let's say I do want the last three months new and closed, right? Single family because I can select the property type. 
I could even come and put beds and bath if I wanted. I'll remove those so we can do a complete report, right? Want a maximum number of properties sorted by recent update, or you can do them by days on market, the beds, the lot size, et cetera. Personalize it, and I'm going to make mine for Isaac, right? Include it and run my report. So Isaac wants some info on his area, and I can send this to him via email. So while that's being created, if he asked me for the information or I had met him and he was interested in the area, he gave me his email address. I could use this as the follow-up. Mm -hmm. And here's the report I could provide him. A market activity report with branding, my additional collateral, marketing collateral, heat maps explaining what's happening in that area, estimated value of homes, the changes there have been, the increases in the last two years, in the last year in the area. <coughs> this might even work for someone who owns property and is thinking of selling, yes or no. So if they purchased over two years ago, They've seen an increase in the valuation of their property. Estimated home value. Market snapshot and pricing. List pricing. Market activity. So you have listings and closed. Value, median, high. Average price per square foot, median price per square foot, average days on market, median days in RPR, the total volume. And then you have the new listings that are available. So wouldn't this be great for a follow-up message on someone you've met, someone who's interested in the area? You can send them a market activity report from the area of interest and the closed sales. Alrighty, let's come back in. Connie, they're interested in school information. Well, we can come to the top, right? We can do research, come to a school search, and you can type in a city, a state, or a zip code. So this time, let's pick on Alfred Alfredo's uh, zip code, 33160, okay? And we'll select that area of North Miami Beach. Alrighty. And we can come and select the school types that we like or filter by school and click to check. And so we have Alonso and Tracy Morning. And we have this school here. So if we were interested in one or the other, we could come and create a report. School report. Personalize it. And you run it. <laughs> and here's the report. You're welcome. Here's the report, right? Personalized to you. The collateral that I have in there. And then you have the school facts. Overall grade, total enrollment, students per teacher, students in the free lunch program, right? Academic grade, average GPA. Math proficiency, reading proficiency, gifted students, graduation rate. ACT and SAT scores, teacher grades, right? All set to go. And then some community reviews.
the next thing that we can do, let's come to the top and let's do some research, right? Um, let's come to marketing. What if I'm prospecting for residential clients? I can click up here, prospecting, and it can walk me through, right? Or I'm going to show you another way. We're going to come into the homepage and we're going to do a search. So let me select um, Olga, you're it. So I'm going to come in and do 33180. Okay. And of course, it's going to tell me way too many results, right? And I'm going to go into the map. Okay. And it brings me to the area. So let's say that I'm interested. I don't know. So I clicked on the map over here and I'm going to draw freehand. Let's see. Let's do this section here. And I want to search <clears throat> in this area. And what I want to do is a public record search, right? And let's say that I want to see, let's see what happens when I just put single family, right? There's quite a few, 250 properties. But do you see this more filter area here? I want to click in there and I want to scroll down. I could exclude distressed. And let's say here, I want to see absentee owners. By the way, I could have selected owner occupied or time owned, right? Land and lot, if there were any open houses. So there's several things I could have selected from. So now let's go ahead and do an update. And there are 49 in my search. Okay. And then I always like to show you guys that you can do switch it over to this view or this view. Right. I particularly like this view. So you switch them here. Why is this nice? It'll tell you beds, baths, square footage, etc. And let's say I want to reach out to these addresses. So I could, in fact, come and do what? Select them. Okay. And for some reason, it didn't select these. So we'll go ahead and add them as well. Right. And I want to send a mailer to them. So I'm going to come to the top and click mailing labels. All results. Export. And it brings me to the export page. Here I can choose to write to the property, right? Current resident. So who am I writing to here? The person that is renting. Because I chose absentee owners, right? Notice that you can exclude listed properties. Exclude properties on the do not Mail list, exclude properties with incomplete addresses. So it'll clean up your list first. You can choose to have a CSV or a PDF. And then the type of mailing label provides you three, 5160, 5161, and 5162 from Avery. You can choose the property or the tax billing address. So if I was clicking tax billing address and selecting owner name, <clears throat> I would in fact be writing to the owner and telling them, would you like to sell, get your return on investment, et cetera, correct? But if I want to mail those that are renting to entice them to buy, I could select property and current resident. One list, two opportunities. Correct? I have the ability in RPR to download 2,000, right, mailing labels a month. <clears throat> of course, I'm not going to, but <clears throat> I could select here 
<clears throat> to print. You want to do this again? One more time. All right. Hey, Madison. Thanks for um, coming in. We're going to come to home. We'll start all over again. So, Madison, since you're asking, <clears throat> tell me a zip code that interests you. All righty. 33141 Miami Beach, right? And if I come and I look for public record, there's a whole bunch, correct? Um, so I'm looking for a single family, and this is 500 of the 1969 that were found. So let's say that I want to take a peek in the map. Okay, I'm going to scroll down a little. And let's say that I'm really interested in just this area here. So what I would do is draw. I could do a radius, a polygon, a box. So since my freehand wasn't so good, let's select the polygon. And right, I'll just come this way here and close it out and search in this area, right? So these are the area, this is the area I'm interested in. I come to the top and I can switch it to the view I like or leave it here, however. Okay. And I can come into mailing labels. Okay. And I can switch to absentee. And of all of those, there are 53, right? If I selected owner occupied, there are 297, right? Um, if I do owner occupied, um, we can even step out of here one second. So let me close this out and we can shift to the more filters. And at this case, we can exclude foreclosures if we want owner occupied, and maybe we can say someone who's owned for X amount of years, right? For 10 plus years and update the search. I have 147 properties, right? So I can do mailing labels for these. So it would be property, owner name, right? 144 of them. And I can write to them, letting them know that I'm their local realtor and I'd love to work with them. I'd like to discuss the equity on their home, maybe getting a return on investment or helping them move if they like, if they have any interest in investing, that they could reach out to me, right? And I'm available to them. Yes or no? 144 records, single family homes in one sector. So it allows you to do some local um prospecting and farming in your area. You're very welcome. All righty, one more thing. How many of you will be showing homes soon? How many of you have a listing and you may have an open house and you forget to create the flyer? How many of you would want a one pager with a little information to remind that person, listen, this is the property that you were interested in. Look at this. I'm going to go to matrix, right? And I'm going to come to the homepage to the dashboard. And in another class, I hope to see you. I teach okay to advertise. Everybody needs to take that class as well as agent 3000 part one. The okay to advertise is interesting, right? Um, you can see properties here from 52 million now, right? So let's see what's here that we would want to see. Let's look at this one. The price has been reduced. Anybody interested? Let's see. Sunny Isles Beach.
right? So let's say I was going to show this property. And, you know, I want to take a one pager with my info. Well, guess this one right here? RPR. That would bring me to RPR to the property, correct? And I can come and create a report and create a property flyer where I can select which image I would like. So let's say I like this one or this one. And since my information is already where? In RPR, I'm ready to go. I can put a headline. Okay. 325, right? And I can put in right? I want to display it and run it. You could do this for your listings. You could do this for the ones that you're going to show. If you're going to have an open house, instead of putting children on top, you could put open house and you can generate a report like this one. Showing, location, image selected, description, bedrooms, bath, living area, building area, lot size, garage, year build, tax amount, subdivision, school district, MLS number, listing courtesy of, so it follows IDX rules and your contact details. One, two, three. Do you like? Did I do it again? One more time. Let's do it. I'm going to come into Matrix and let's peek at another property. Look at this serve sign. All righty. We'll come into here. We'll click. And let's say that this was my listing and I'm going to do an open house. I need to print up a flyer. At least need to have a couple of them. What can I do? Create a report, property flyer, select the image I would like, and put Right? Run. And you're set to go. Open house, right? So we had this one that was for you to do the showing and this one for the open house. Location. Info, your details, etc. Now, Isaac, can I pick on you just one more time? And your zip code. How would you guys all like some insight? Some insight um, on your area and the trends and tapestries and segmentations and what people from the area of interest do, how they shop, what they market, what's their makeup, et cetera. <laughs> Let's go. Yay. So we're going to come back to that homepage. I love the enthusiasm. We'll do your, Sil your Sylvia as well. Because once I do it, I know I'm going to lose you. And then class will be over. But this is that little extra tip 
to make it special. So from the homepage, I want you all to click over to commercial. Thank you, Alfred. Alfredo for coming. And then we're gonna come into here and we're gonna do three, 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 two, four. That's the right one, right? Yes, three, 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 two, four, and select it. Now, this looks all great and dandy, but what I want is up here. Create report. Trade area report. Run it. And while we're doing that quickly, we'll go ahead and we'll do Sylvia's as well. We'll come right back to the home. Make sure we're on commercial. And we'll do 331. Six zero. Get reporting. Trade area report and run it. Now I come to the very top, and here I have your Davy uh, plantation area. Here we are, correct? Scroll down all of the goodies on you. That's what would be showing your marketing collateral if you'd left it in, right? And here is the gem. The median household income in 33324 is $81,960. The median age is 41.9, young. The total population, 49,713. The tapestry market segmentation, the dominant segment is bright young professionals. Consumer segmentation. Top tapestry segments, bright young professionals, in styles, young and the restless, retirement communities, savvy suburbanites. Residence type, household type, average house size, median age, diversity index, median household income, net worth, medium home valuation, Ownership, employment, education, preferred activities, financial, media, vehicle. Not only do you have this page, but it explains the segmented tapestries one by one. So those bright young professionals that make 30%, almost 31% of this area and make 2.3% up of the U.S. households, right, are a large market, primarily located in urban outskirts of large metropolitan areas, right? Approximately 50% of the households rent 43 own their homes. Socioeconomic traits, right? Education completed, 35% with some college or associate degree. And then market profile, own retirement savings and student loans, own newer computers, iPods, and two plus TVs, go online, use mobile devices for banking, access YouTube, Facebook, blogs, use cell phones, tax, redeem mobile coupons, listen to music, check for news and financial information, and more. They enjoy a variety of sports, including backpacking, rock climbing, football, Pilates, running, yoga, eat out, and fa fam uh, often at fast food and family restaurants. Any zip code? Any, any zip code? And now what I give you is, Isaac, are you going to do yours so you can continue to look? And now let's peek at Sylvia's for a second. You wanted North Miami. Pass through our collateral here. And you have median household income is 68, almost 69,000. Median age is 47.6. Total population 44,000. And the dominant segment is retirement community. You have retirement community, Emerald City, Metro Fusion, Silver and Gold, Old and Newcomers. You have network information, median home value, 
ownership percentage, employment preferred activities. And then here you have it. They combine single family homes and independent living with apartments, assisted living, and continuous care nursing facilities. Residents take pride in fiscal responsibility and keep a close eye on their finances. Although income and net worth are below national averages, residents enjoy going to the movies, fishing, taking vacations. While some residents enjoy cooking, many would rather dine out. Socioeconomic traits, brand loyal. They prefer reading magazines over interacting with computers. They are health conscious and prefer name brand drugs. Market profile. Entertainment preferences, playing cards, reading books, prefer watching TV, including premium channels like HBO and Cinemax, like to travel, include visiting foreign countries, shop at diverse large retail chains like Sears, Family Dollar, Target, and Walmart for convenience. That was my little extra. I hope you enjoyed your RPR residential class. Yes, Carrie, you can search for other areas. I'm going to come right back in here to the top go to home because I can't leave that without answering. Click back on residential. I'm show you here. Let's say we're looking for Tampa, Florida. Too many results because we were looking just at everything, but you know that you can put like say just for sale, right? And search. Let's say just active, search it. And there you have your info. Don't forget that RPR has information that's nationwide for tax services, and it is your tool because you are a realtor. I want to thank you for being Miami members, for having spent this morning with me, and I can't wait to see you again. Um, have a great day. This is being recorded. If the audio went well, I should have it up uh, maybe this afternoon on YouTube, and tomorrow we'll be working on Miami Realtor Live, so we may have it as well. You have a great day and thank you for being Miami members. Always more with Miami.